brothers and sisters, when we speak in other tongues, we are not only talking to God. There's a time when we speak in other tongues in prayer and the Bible says we are speaking mysteries. He says when we begin to speak in other tongues, no man understands. Didn't say no angel understands. Says no man understands because we are speaking tongues of angels. Some of you are broke because you're not speaking in tongues. Some of you have a lot of problem in your life because you're not speaking in tongues. I know some of you Christians, you're there and you're thinking, I don't believe in those tongues. Tongues died with the last apostle. Okay. Okay, just go on. In your Christian life, you'll continue to go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's true. Because you don't know the secret. This is where the power is. The Bible says, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, edifieth himself, emboldens himself, charges himself, builds himself. He emboldens himself. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. That's the tongue of angels. Sometimes when we are speaking in tongues, we are talking to God Almighty. The Bible says we are speaking mysteries. What are mysteries? Things that cannot be understood by the ordinary mind. Tongues of angels. At that point, we are talking to angels. We are giving commands. There's something that's been missing for a long time. That angel has just been instructed to go find it. I sent my application somewhere. As I start speaking in tongues, my angel goes and gets it on the table. See, the times when you begin to speak in other tongues, some strange words start coming up. Let them come up. Let them come up. Some of you say, I want to have children. You know how, you're, you're not about to have, no matter the prophecies, until you start speaking in tongues. Hey. 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 I'm telling you. You will have to do this. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Monta kabaraya. Rabba kondolo mongeza brasta. Yay. Look at verse 18. Let's see. We talk about Paul the Apostle so much. You say, Paul, 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 Paul. Paul was a great apostle. See the secret. Look at it. There's only one thing that Paul said he did more than anybody else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. The only one thing that puts him ahead of all others. He says in verse 18, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all. That's all. In everything else, he was running at the same line with them. All the brethren, we got everything. We, we, we have the same salvation. We have the same Holy Ghost. We have the same word of God given to us. We have the same this. We have the same that. But then when he got to tongues, he said, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all. The guy is bathing. He's driving every once in a while. He said, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all. More than ye all. He's sitting and waiting for somebody. The MD is coming. Montoko Boraya. Magabasako Boroye. I mean, this is a strange guy. I tell you what. Somebody at the reception is going to tell the MD there's a strange fellow in the reception. <laughs> and every once in a while he just goes, oops. Rakamaye. 